飛到差唔多入唔到個個車度。Yeah, and, and again, it was a holiday, and, and people were like, people were really crowding the. 亦都係啦，因為嗰日係誒假假期嘅。I learned, I learned after living there a little while, you don't go out on the holiday. 所以咧，我哋學到教訓就係學誒假期就唔好出街啦。But I was standing there with these other people, and, and I think I know who did it, but I couldn't find them after, right? But they, because I'll tell you later. But they were right behind me. I saw this young couple, and they were wanting to get on the train, right? 咁啊喺嗰時咁逼嘅環境底下咧，其實牧師知道嘅感覺到嘅，但係咧佢又揾唔到係邊個。And I could tell they were eager. They wanted to get on the train. They were going somewhere. 咁啊一定係啊一定係你去去到車站，一定要搭車去到某個地方。But when I couldn't get on the train, right? They couldn't either, so they were behind me, right? And so I, I, I get on the train, and and I think they thought they could get on the train. Finally, the train comes, and the crowd all pushes forward, and I just go with the crowd, right? And I'm standing on the, I'm standing on the train, and it's crowded, right? And I just, I just happened to put my hand down there like that. Oh, my wallet's gone. <laughs> and and then something, there was something that had happened that now I understood. But, when I got on the train, I had looked out the window, and the and the couple that was right behind me, instead of getting on the train, they were very fast getting out of the train station. 見到嗰個夫婦咧，啊明明已經見到佢喺我後邊嘅，咁但係上咗車嘅時候望一望，佢已經好走，好快走到啦。At that point, I didn't know why. I thought, oh, they changed their mind, right? 嗰時佢又唔明喎，誒點解佢走得咁快咧 ？But then when I felt no wallet, I knew why they left in a hurry. 我都原來我付咗好多錢嘅時候，佢點解佢會走得咁快咧 ？Yeah, and I think I lost a lot more than five hundred that time. 咁樣嗰次咧，應該係多過五百蚊。So it's possible for somebody to steal something from you, and you don't even know it. 咁所以咧，真係嘅喎，當人哋偷咗你嘢嘅時候，而係你真係可能會唔知道，都有呢個情況。And you know what? 咁你知道咩 ？Somebody is stealing from you, or could be stealing something from you, and you don't even know it. 咁咧，呢呢個就係教訓，就係話啊，都有人真係去偷咗你嘢嘅時候，你真係可能會真係唔知道。We call him Satan. 咁啊，我哋講呢個咧就係神。We call him the devil. 我哋就講佢魔鬼。We call him the thief. 我哋話係盜賊啦。Right? And Jesus said, "The thief." He's referring to Satan. He said, "He he just comes right to steal and to kill and to destroy." 咁啊，耶穌就講話啊，呢個盜賊咧就係撒旦啦，佢嚟咧就係要偷竊殺害毀壞嘅。That's his business. That's his business. 呢個就係佢要做嘅事啊。And he's very good at his business. 咁佢咧個撒旦咧做呢件啲事做得好專好叻嘅喎。And He has one goal. He wants to steal from you the gift of abundant life that God promises He wants you to have. 咁呢個咧就係佢唯一嘅目的啊，就係乜嘢啊？就係偷咗咧原本耶穌基督要俾你嘅豐盛嘅生命，佢就要偷走。Jesus said, "I have come that you can have life, and that you can have life more abundantly." 咁耶穌就話：我嚟係要俾你一個豐盛嘅生命。And so. He wants to steal the gift of abundant life that Jesus wants you to have. He wants to steal that from you. 但係撒旦就係個目的就係嚟就要偷咗你個豐盛生命。And I'm tired of seeing people living a life they don't have to live, but they're living that life because Satan has stolen the life that they could have from them. 咁有啲人咧好似活著咧好似冇真正嘅生命咁樣，因為咧撒旦就攞咗佢哋嘅偷取咗佢哋嘅生命。The Bible teaches us that when God first created Adam and Eve, He created them to have an abundant life. 咁咧，原來喺創世紀嗰陣時咧，已經講到啦，神去做創造亞當夏娃創造人類嘅時候咧，其實係要俾一個豐盛嘅生命佢哋嘅。I mean, I've lived in some nice homes and even in garden homes before. 咁咧，佢其實咧，佢哋所住嘅地方應該係好似神一開始俾佢咧，其實。Oh, for three years in Guangzhou, I lived in this gated community. Beautiful gardens. Oh, wow. So nice. 咁當時咧，牧師咧喺廣州嘅時候咧，佢哋嗰個見到嗰個地方咧係好靚嘅。But I've never lived in the Garden of Eden. 咁咧，佢已經冇再係住喺嗰個地方。Wow. In the Garden of Eden, there was no thorns, no weeds, nothing, right? 
Yes. That came after because of the curse, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. And so the Bible says in Genesis 1, 26 and 27, in verse 26, he said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness. And then in verse 27, said, So God created man in his image, in the image of God he created him, male and female, he created them. So what does that mean? He created man in his image, in his likeness. Well, we all know that God is righteous. He's pure and holy. He never committed any sin. So when God created Adam and Eve in his likeness, he created them to be holy and to be pure and to be righteous. And he created them to enjoy life in the Garden of Eden. Now we cannot imagine life without sin. Can you, can you imagine your, a life without any influence of sin? No. Why? Because Adam and Eve sinned. Yes. And the Bible teaches us that when God came down like he did, it took on a form and walked among them in the garden, with them in the garden, right? That was a beautiful thing, wonderful fellowship. And we don't know how many years, how long they lived in the garden and, and God would come down in the evening and, and he would just walk with them and fellowship with them. And you imagine that? But one day he came down to walk with them he could not see them anywhere. And the Bible says, when they heard him walking in the garden, what did they do? They Instead of running to meet him, they're hiding. Why are you hiding, Adam and Eve? Why? Why are you hiding now? Because they have disobeyed God. They have sinned. And now for the first time in their life, they are ashamed. Right? When you are a sinner, you live a shameful life. Right? Satan had deceived them. He stole from them the abundant, sinless life that they were enjoying in the Garden of Eden. Satan robbed them of their joy and their peace. He, he took away from them that, that love that that fellowship, not love, but the fellowship that they so enjoyed with God. And the Bible teaches us that because of Adam, that one man's sin, all have become sinners. Yes. Romans 3.23 says, what? Read it in Chinese. Yeah, all have sinned. Right? Everybody has sinned. And, and matter of fact, the Bible says if you say, I, I have not sinned, it said, you're a liar. Right? Yeah. And uh, so we've all sinned. And the wages of sin is what? 
The, the abundant life that God had in mind for them in the Garden of Eden was to live forever. Right? <laughs> Sinless, holy, no death. But Satan stole that life from them and now they were going to die. In Ephesians 2, 1 and 3, Paul reminded the Ephesian Christians that they once were just like the rest of humanity, sinners. Okay, 就是現今在活翼之子心中運行的邪靈,我們從前也都在他們中間,幫助肉體的私慾,隨從肉體和心中所喜好的去行,本為可怒之子,和別人一樣。Okay, so look at, look at somebody and ask them, are you dead? <laughs> now ask them this. Do you have life? Alright. Either you are dead or you have life. One or the other. And I'm not talking about whether you are breathing or not breathing. Notice they were dead in trespasses and sin. And notice what you do when you are dead in trespasses and sins. When you're dead. He said you were following in verse uh, 2. Following the course of this world. Following the prince of the power of the air. That is Satan. Right? And he said, the spirit that now is now at work in the sons of disobedience. You live a life of disobedience when you are dead. He's talking about the spiritual death that happened when Adam and Eve sinned and we inherited that from him when we were born. And when you continue in that verse, in verse 3, it says that you lived in the passions of your flesh. When you're dead, spiritually, you live according to your flesh. You carry out the desires of the body and the mind. They're in control. And, and Paul said, your nature is one of wrath and anger. So if when we are born, we're dead, <laughs> that makes no sense, does it? I'm born, but I'm dead. Well, if I'm dead, how can I live? That's the real question, isn't it? Now, I, I remind you, it was Jesus who said, you must be born again. Right? There are three elements that you need to come in contact with if you truly want to live. Now, this, is, this is a Bible study more than it is a sermon this morning, but I, I really want you to get this. Okay? In John 6, 63, Jesus said, 
it is the Spirit who gives life. The flesh is no help at all. The words that I have spoken to you are spirit and life. 咁第一個元素咧就係神嘅道啊，或者係神嘅説話啦。咁喺約翰福音六章六十三節講到咧，叫人活著嘅乃是靈，肉體是無益的。我對你們所説的話就是靈，就是生命。And in John 5:24, Jesus said, "Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever hears my word and believes in him who sent me has eternal life. He does not come into judgment, but has passed from death unto life." When you read the New Testament, you you hear the terms "living word." Yes. Then, in the New Testament, you will see a word that is "living word." Yes. Then, in the New Testament, you will see a word that is "living word." Yes. Then, in the New Testament, you will see a word that is "living word." Yes. Then, in the New Testament, you will see a word that is "living word." And Hebrews 4:12 explains why it is the living word. For the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of soul and spirit, joints and marrow, and discerning of the thoughts and the intentions of the heart. 咁啊，十二節嗰度講到，神嘅道是活潑的，是有功效的，比一切兩刃的劍更快，甚至雲與靈、骨節與骨髓都能自入剖開，連心中的思念和主意都能辨明。The Bible teaches us it's not just hearing the word。聖經教導咧，我哋唔係就係聽到呢個神嘅説話。You could come here every week and hear the word, and it will never change you. Just hearing it. 每個每個禮拜你都可以翻嚟教會裏邊聽神嘅道，但係你可能就係得一個聽字，但係就冇咩改變。He said, whoever hears the word and believes in Jesus and receives the word。咁樣其實，但係其實你除咗聽完之後咧，你就真係要活出嚟，你先可以得吸收到呢個神嘅説話。That's the person who passes from death unto life. Is the person who actually believes the word and lets the word. Create faith in their heart. And why is that important? Because in John 1:1, the Bible tells us, "In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and was with, was with God, and the Word was God." Right? Read that in Chinese. Okay, and then in verse fourteen, it goes on to say, "And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen His glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth." And then, verse when you go back to verse four, it says, "In Him, that is, in the Word made flesh, in Jesus, right? In Him was life, and the life was the life." So if you want life, 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 so Amen. So we need the word. That's why God calls preachers, right? To preach the word. Because the Bible says that it is the word that creates faith in us, right? To believe. 
，因為咧聖經講到咧，呢就係呢個道，呢、这個神嘅説話係讓到我哋有一個信心啊，對認認識耶穌基督有信心。And when we receive the word, it's alive and it's active. And so it can change us from inside. Amen. Now the word brings us to faith in Christ, but we also need something else. Because we're sinners, we need atonement for our sin. 咁咧，因為咧，誒，我哋咧係誒喺舊約裏邊咧講到咧，我哋有罪喺我哋嘅生命裏。We need the blood。我哋需要，我哋有血。And not just blood, we need the blood of Jesus Christ。唔係普通嘅血喎，呢個係耶穌基督嘅血。Why? Well, Leviticus 17 and 11 tells us why。點解咧？我哋喺利未記嗰度睇一睇啦。For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it to you on the altar to make atonement for your souls. For it is the blood that makes atonement by the life. Okay. So notice, for the life of the flesh is in the blood. 好留意，因為活物的生命是在血中。It's for this reason that in the Old Testament covenant, right, God required that the blood of a pure lamb be poured upon the mercy seat in the holiest place. 就係因為呢一個原因，就係因為活物嘅生命在於血嘅裏邊，咁所以喺舊約嘅時候，神就要佢哋啊啊就要用嗰啲血咧喺誒就彈喺佢嗰個私恩座上邊。Because God said, "It's the blood upon the altar that makes the atonement for sin, because it's life for life, the life of a pure lamb for our life." But that was the Old Testament, the Old Covenant, right? And the only reason we can have life today is because Jesus Christ shed His blood as an atonement for our sin. 咁咧喺新約又點講咧？原來我哋新約嘅時候咧，就用耶穌基督嘅寶血啊，因為耶穌基督冇犯過罪，佢個血係聖，佢個血係純潔聖潔嘅。Under the old covenant, the Israelites were God's chosen people。咁咧就係啊，喺誒誒喺呢個獻祭贖罪嘅時候咧，啊神去揀選人。And and and to have atonement for their sins, as I said, they had to offer up pure lambs and goats. As an atonement for their sin. 咁咧，神咧就係話誒，即係不過人咧有罪啊，咁所以咧佢就要去有一個誒誒贖罪咁樣嘅，所以就有呢個做法。And what that means is it reconciles atonement. Just means it reconciles you with God. 咁贖贖罪係咩意思咧？贖罪就係話誒，人同神嗰個關係恢復翻啊。And in the New Testament, it means That it's the reconciliation of God with man through Jesus Christ, who gave His life for us. 咁喺新約嗰度又點樣做咧？就係、是、話人同人、神同人之間嘅關係恢復咧，係要靠耶穌基督先可以誒作呢個中保咧，咁先可以誒恢復嘅。Because reconciliation just simply means restoring friendly relations, right? 咁因為咧。The Bible teaches anybody who is not a child of God is an enemy of God. You are the enemy of God if you are not a child of God. And as I said, the Word became flesh in the person of Jesus Christ. And then, how did John introduce Jesus to the world? 咁咧啊，約翰又點樣去誒誒介紹耶穌基督咧 ？When it's the John one twenty nine. 喺約翰福音一章廿九節。When John saw Jesus coming towards him, he said, 
Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. He's the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world because it was His life for our life. When Jesus died on the cross, he didn't die for his sins. Yes. 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 He had no sins. Yes. Yes. He died for me as me on the cross. Yes. He took my place. He was a substitute for me. He died for me. All right? And the Bible teaches us that it was his life for our life so that we could become the children of God through faith in Jesus Christ. Without the blood of Jesus Christ, we could not have new life. But God not only wants us to be reconciled to Him, He wants us to become a new person. That's what being born again is all about. Become a new person. In order for that to happen, we need to be, repent of our sins. And be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Read, uh, uh, I want you to read Acts 22 16. In Chinese. Paul is testifying about his own uh, Christian, his own conversion experience, right? And Ananias had said to him, he said, and now why do you wait? Rise and be baptized and wash away your sins, calling on His name, Amen. Jesus' name. What can wash away your sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Do you sing that hymn? Yes. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other fount I know, nothing but the blood of Jesus. So we need the word, Amen. and we need the blood. Amen. 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 But those, okay, Okay, I, I'm waiting for you to sing the song in Chinese. You're my interpreter. I sing it, now you must sing it. Okay. One thing I always loved about Joshua, when he was my interpreter, he would always do everything I did, he did it. Right? Yes, that's right. Okay, now, no, you're doing a great job. Okay, now, so we need the blood, we need we need the word, we need the blood, but we also need the spirit. Amen. Alright. So in John 3, 5 to 7, okay, Jesus said, he answered, Nicodemus, Truly, truly I say to you, unless one is born of water and the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. That which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Do not marvel what I said to you. You must be born again. 
喺三章五至七節講到，耶穌說：我實實在在的告訴你，人若不是從水和聖靈生的，就不能進神的國；從肉身生的，就是肉身；從靈生的，就是靈。我說：你們必須重生，你不要以為稀奇。Okay, now notice verse what verse six says. Very, very important. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. That's all it can ever be. It's flesh. You can dress it all up. Put on fancy clothes. Put on lipstick. Earrings. Go to the hairdresser, get your hair all nice and fancy. But you're still just flesh. You just look fancy. <laughs> right? But the spirit is what allows us to be born again as a new person. He said, "That which is born of the Spirit is Spirit." It means that which is born of the Spirit is alive. You've become a new person. Not by the things you have done, but by the things God has done for you. Now you're clothed in His righteousness. Paul said, "He has become my righteousness." Remember in John six sixty three. We read the scripture. It is the spirit who gives life. The flesh is no help at all. Now, a lot of times we blame a lot of things on the devil. Back in Canada, they tell the story. That there was, they were having church in, in, in this church, and they were having testimony. And people were standing up and saying, "Oh, the devil has been giving me a hard time all week." <laughs> Satan made me do this. Satan made me do that. And they're talking about all the thing, bad things that happened all week long, and they're blaming it on the devil. <laughs> and so, somebody was walking by the church, and they saw the devil laying in the ditch. He was laying in the ditch, and he was crying. The devil was crying so hard. And so the guy said, "Well, what's wrong? What's wrong with why are you crying?" <laughs> all those people in there. They're blaming me for all of their problems. And it's not my fault at all. <laughs> And you know what? He was probably right. Yes. You have more problem with your flesh than you do with the devil. Yes. Right? You know, you have to be a pretty, pretty strong threat to the devil for him to come and really want to, you know, tackle you personally. He doesn't have to do that. He just a, he just stirs up the passions of your flesh. Because that which is born of the flesh is flesh, and sometimes 
We live in the flesh instead of living in the spirit. The Bible says if we walk in the flesh, walk in the spirit, we will not fulfill the desires of the flesh. So it's our flesh that gets us in trouble most of the time. That's why we need the Holy Spirit in our lives. There's nothing we can do in our flesh to save ourselves. And if we're always trying to figure everything out according to the flesh, we're going to get in trouble. But if we are allowing the Holy Spirit to empower us, we will be stronger than the flesh and the flesh won't give us the trouble that we have all the time. And so if it's for that reason that Jesus has made it possible for us if we will believe and we will repent of our sins and be baptized in the name of Jesus that we will receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. I think it's in the in the Chinese Bible in, in, in Cantonese, it seems to me that I recall from back when I was here that in the Chinese when Acts 2.38, doesn't it say Yat Ding Hui? Doesn't it say you certainly will receive the Holy Ghost if you repent and the baptism doesn't say yet ding wei. What does that say in Chinese? Is it yet ding? Yet ding wei. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know you. 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 When you read it, it's different than when you speak. Shall we see? Shall we see? Yet ding wei. Yeah. The spoken is yet ding wei, right? Yet ding wei. Yeah. I like that because that means you definitely will. Right? Not maybe. You can hope so. It might happen. It might not happen. But it's very, very strong. You definitely will receive it. Amen. So if you will do what you need to do, God will do what He wants to do. Yeah. If we'll do what we're supposed to do, if we will receive the word, if we will be washed from our sins in the blood of Jesus, be baptized, right? Then he will do what he said because it's a promise and it's a gift, right? It's something we can just expect that is going to happen because he promised we would have that. Amen. Because we must be born again. And we must be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. The Word of God creates faith. For us to believe in Jesus Christ. Amen. The blood of Jesus cleanses us up from sin so we can re so that he can come to live in us by the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit will not live in an unclean temple, right? And the Spirit gives us the power to live as a new person. Amen. And it's by living in the Spirit that we become a witness 
of who Jesus really is. 咁所以咧，當我哋有聖靈喺我哋嘅生命裏邊，我哋得咗一個改變，做一個重生嘅人咧，我哋就可以見證到神嘅大能。So don't let Satan rob you of the abundant life God wants you to have. Amen. 即係佢關注題個女就，我哋唔好讓撒旦去偷取我哋個豐盛嘅生命。Don't let him steal and kill and destroy what God has provided for you. 唔好容許撒旦去做偷竊、殺害、毀壞嘅事情。我哋有。I love it that the Bible says that God has given us all things that pertain unto life and godliness. I want to encourage you. Be the person God wants you to be. Because Jesus said, "I have come." 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 All the way. There we go. Let's read it again. I want you to read. I want you to take this with you today. I want you to remember this. Okay. The thief. The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. Okay. Now in Chinese. Don't hurt me. No need to steal, destroy, destroy. 我来了，是要叫人得生命，并且得的更丰盛。Okay, what kind of life does he want you to have? Abundant life. What do you need if you're going to have abundant life? Three things: the word, the word, the blood, the spirit. Amen. So I ask you. Do you have life? Do you have abundant life? Is the spirit in control? Or is the flesh in control? You can't really live the abundant life he wants you to live if you are living according to the flesh. When you live according to the flesh, you're living like a dead person. If you live according to the flesh, you're living like a dead person. Right? The only thing we're supposed to be dead to is dead to the world. Right? 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 Paul said, "I am dead." Paul said, "I am dead." Paul said, "What? Paul, you're dead?" You said, "You're dead." What does that mean? Behold, I'm dead. Behold, I'm dead. Behold, I'm dead. That'd be quite a song to sing in church, right? Behold, I'm dead. Behold, I'm dead. But then he went on to say that he was dead, right? But he lived through Christ. You got to be dead before you can be alive. You got to die to the things that are sinful. So that you can live the life that He wants you to live. I'll close with this. While we were in Guangzhou. I'm trying to. I was trying to expose Tim to as much as I possibly could of Chinese culture, and so we've been going to a lot of places. <laughs> One of the places that we went to was a Taoist temple. Taoist. Taoist. You know the Taoist Tao T. T A O I S T Taoist Tao. Yeah. I think some some people call it Tao Taoist. Right? They have a huge temple site up in Huadu, Huadu, and Huadu, I think it is, in 
in the north part, out towards the airport in Guangzhou. There are nine, nine temples there. Nine temples. They have three master gods. And then they have other lesser gods, right? And I should have put a picture on the slide of they had in this one temple, they have a god who is supposed to be your personal god that you pray to depending on what year you was born. Like, so I was born in 1952. Just young, right? I'm just young, right? And so I kept looking. Oh, 1952, where's my God right there? I was very disappointed. He, he wasn't a very handsome guy. <laughs> and, it, and he was dressed very funny. I didn't like his clothes. <laughs> but they told me, the guide said, the guy that was guiding us said, uh, this is a God that you should pray to. At the beginning of every year, you should go pray to this God. And you, and you bring them some fruits and you burn some incense. And you ask them to give you a good, happy, prosperous year. And you, and really, if you really want to have a good year, then you bring a big offering <laughs> for the temple. <laughs> I felt like asking her, the guy, hmm, are these people Americans? <laughs> Sounds like Americans. We want to make money. <laughs> and so anyway, I said to the guy, because she said, you know, if you want to have a good year, you, you must pray to this God, right? So I told her, I said, I have had, I have lived 60 Seven good years. Amen. Very good years. <laughs> and I have never met this God before. I have never prayed to this God. I never brought him any uh, fruit. I never burned any incense to him. I never gave any offering. And I've had 67 good years. Because I serve the true and the living God. Amen. Amen. Yeah, I didn't. I don't know she what she thought about us because we were all Christian, right? Pastor Jason, Tim, and I. And, but I think she learned quite a bit from us too. <laughs> Need to pray for her. The Lord will lead her into the truth, into the life, right? That I've been talking about. Let's stand together. Yeah, they